Welcome back. I'm Gareth Edwards. This is Morning News Today. The ANC's national conference kicks off this weekend, the elective conference. Delegates from all over the country making their way to Bloemfontein to be part of what is expected to be a very competitive event. Also making their way to Mangong, as you should do, comedian and political commentator Mr. Chester Missing uh, with us from our Cape Town studio. Chester, morning. Couldn't they have gotten you a bigger chair in Cape Town? Stand up. Oh, you are standing. Sorry, Chester, morning. Oh, my God. Don't start with your bloody jokes. You're like a Graham Smith lookalike. What? Where are you? There. Hey, how's I... it going, John? I mean, Ed Gra is Gareth. I want to call you John Edwards because I thought you maybe raised the news like that John Edwards raises the dead. With the lack of hair, I'm not sure you should be commentating. Chester, this Mangaun yeah. thing happening uh, later this week. W what's your thoughts? What's your yeah, take it's like on this? like a big Weight Watchers conference. What are you expecting? Well, it's hard to say. You know, if I could just guess the news, I would be working at Sunday Times. But um, quite seriously, I mean, who knows? I mean, Ramaphosa, I don't see how this guy can win. He sounds like a type of expensive margarine, doesn't he, Gareth? I mean, Ramaphosa. It's like no more Rama, just much richer. How are you going to get them to talk to you? Uh, Chester, you're always talking to politicians, even feeling them up. If I can remind you of Diane Cola Barnard, she oh, enjoyed yeah, that. Very nice. How, yeah. you, Who's how your are you going to get them to talk daddy? to you? Jacob Zuma is my political daddy. How are you going to get them to talk um, to you, Chester? What I'm going to do is I'm going to arrest them, uh, Gareth, with a <laughs> stick. I'm going to hit them. Hit them hard. The way, the way Gwede does when they're not Luke Luke, when you don't have it on camera, he hits them. He hits Fakile and Bolula. They, hey, work, Fakile, work, you bastard. Who haven't you spoken to, Chester, that you want to? Who are you going to corner at Mangahung? Who are you going to tie uh, into Tokyo a Sehwale, to? I want to talk to Tokyo Sehwale and find out, is he a Japanese place or is he a sex position for fish? Sex whale. Aren't you scared he's bigger than you? Everyone's bigger than me, Gareth. <laughs> Everyone's bigger than me. The only one who's not bigger than me is, uh, is Tabo and Becky. Because that guy is like a political tokoloshi. Uh, Chester, got questions from viewers. I'm going to go through them quickly. You're normally asking the questions. Yeah, my on, turn on. now. Hang on, my turn now. I'll ask you the questions. Hang on a moment, Chester. Uh, Philip wants to know, uh, are you going to accept a nomination from the ANC from the floor? Definitely, definitely. I mean, if John Block, that political puppet, can get in, so can I. I am planning to become the premier for Limpopo Part 2 because if the right thing's going, I think they're going to give the northern half of Limpopo to Zimbabwe. <laughs> Do you know more about politics than politicians? Also from uh, Charles Lombard on Twitter. Oh, my Charles, you're a bloody genius. Of course I know more about politics than politicians. I mean, seriously. I mean, seriously. Have you seen Jackson and Tembu? He doesn't know about politics. He knows about Cliff Drift. Okay, how are you going to fix uh, politics and politicians in 30 seconds, Chester, in Mangong? How are you going to fix it? Go. I'm going to give them all Viagra so they can finally stand up straight, and I'm going to put them on way less, because if we compare politicians per kilo, we'll get a lot less taxpayers' money spent. Uh, as I well as that, I'm going to make Nkandla into a theme park we can all go to for 20 minutes a day. The morning news today, team, tell me it's, it's a fact that you didn't want to come to Joburg. You're scared of touching me on camera. Who are you going to be touching in I Mangalong? Know, I thought maybe you might be a pedophile or something. I don't know. I don't know you. I mean, yes, the day. Who are you going to be touching in Mangalong? I'm going to touch everybody I can. I want to touch to Sikhle Zikalala again from KZN. I want to touch to talk to, um, I want to talk to Fakile and Balula if I can organize it. Paul Mashatile, but those guys who, who, who in the, in the, in the thing that the your movement for change, I think they might be avoiding me because they're scared they might not have jobs off the Mangong. You know, it's basically like you guys if you're rude about Deborah Pata. They might be stepping over you. They might not see you on the floor. Chester, two questions. Very exactly. important. Exactly. Very important. Who is the best-looking male politician and who is the best-looking female politician? You can't say Diana Cola Barnard. You've used her. Oh, my God. Oh, God. The best-looking. Oh, is, is that the most ridiculous? I think, I think, I think Halema Motlante is one of the better-looking ones because he's color-coded. I mean, his hair is black, his face is brown, his book is white. He looks like the group areas act. And uh, I think, um, let me, who the best looking female, Belek and Bete is pretty odd. I mean, she's a bit of a mouth. I mean, yeah, she's a, she's a cougar. She's in Santon. It's the Cougar National Park. Well, those politicians have been warned as well. Uh, your resolution for next year. This email from uh, Peter. Chester, I'm a big fan. Besides stirring, yeah. something you do very well. What's your New Year's resolution for next year besides getting taller? My New Year's... Oh my God, my newest resolution next year is to do what Jacob Zuma does. Shake, shake, and more shake. Okay, serious question for you. I know everyone wants to know what you yeah. think about this as well. We have Nelson Mandela in hospital at the moment. Uh, I'm sure you have a message for Madiba. Yeah, 
I love you, Madiba. Get well soon, and don't let those bastards Gwede Mantashi anywhere near you. Chester Missing, always a pleasure talking to you. that guy's got a lot of hair. It's not good for your digestive system. Gaan weg. Grow taller. Chester, thank you very much indeed from our Cape Town studios. I love uh, you, Gareth. I'll see you later. Ach, thank you, Oem. Tot ziens. Bye-bye. Comedian, political commentator, Chester Missing. There, he doesn't even wait for the camera to... Never mind. Chester Missing from Late Night News.